Good afternoon. We need more direct relief flowing to families, small businesses, including finishing the job of getting people that $2,000 in relief, direct payment. $600 is simply not enough when you have to choose between paying rent, putting food on the table, keeping the lights on. The hospital industry, restaurant, bars. People in both parties now recognize it's time to raise the minimum wage so hardworking people earn at least $15 an hour minimum. Women's, including the first woman Secretary of Treasury, first African-American Defense Secretary. The mission of the Commerce Department is a very simple one, to help spur good-paying jobs, to empower entrepreneurs to innovate and grow, to come together with working families and American businesses to create new opportunities for all of us. Put on the table to feed their family. And they're left staring at the ceiling so many. Now we have the opportunity to put power back in the hands of working people all across this country. And that is a good thing for our economy and for our country. We can defend workers' rights. We can strengthen collective bargaining. We can grow union membership. When President Obama and I were sworn in during the Great Recession, 2009. Good afternoon. Mr. President-elect, Madam Vice President-elect, I am honored and truly thankful for this opportunity to serve America's small businesses. Together with you and the exceptional and diverse team you're assembling, I am eager to build our economy back better in every community. That is evenly composed of as many women as men in the cabinet. But we also know that government, its resources, and its experienced and capable civil servants can help level the playing field and empower people, communities, and our economy to reach their full pot potential. Revive the economy. In fact, economic research confirm 